wherever you're going, I'm going to. I'll follow you through the black and the blue. Whatever the mountain will climb to the next, honey, I'm with you through life and to. You're afraid I wish you could see that I think you're brave And if it all falls If it all breaks We can just sit here in the parking lot for three hours. Do you want to do that? Oh, no. Well, I haven't spoke to the camera yet, so today's Miles' first day of school. I mean, he wasn't phased at all when we dropped him off, but it's because he literally doesn't know what's going on. So, the thought of that's kind of sad. We've both already cried. We're gonna go eat. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go eat. He's been excited to go eat because we never really get to go anywhere with just the two of us. We're like, literally right now, like. I'm gonna text him some right now. <laughs> I need all the pictures today. Crying face. We're gonna go eat and then we're gonna run to Sam's Club. I don't know why, for some reason, I can't get this camera to sit where we're both in frame. And I've done it many times before right here, I thought, but it's like not working. Josh is crying, he probably doesn't wanna be on here crying. So we're gonna go do that. And it's gonna kill all the time that he's here today, so it'll be fun. Josh is getting on my nerves. We're actually alone and all he's doing is getting on my nerves. Man, I'm right, you're wrong. Nope. I was just in here filming the other day and they did not have these. They're apple pie rolls with caramel sauce. Y'all know I had to get some sushi. Taylor got that? And he said it's like... Chicken it's enchiladas. Really yeah, he said it's really good. How I much is know. it? It's only eleven ninety eight. Well, the boys won't eat it, but I mean, we could eat it one night and give the boys something else. Yeah, we've never tried any of these kits. Like, we haven't even tried this taco kit. Josh. People talk about this taco kit all the time. Yeah, I know. They say it's so good. They have like a stir fry one. Okay. This would be good for just meal prep. You don't even have to prep it. There's chicken up in here and twice baked potatoes, seasoned Brussels sprouts, mac and cheese, chicken pot pie. That's a huge chicken pot pie. They say it's really good too. Stuffed peppers. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Bourbon sirloin tips with mashed potatoes. That's like, that's large that that could feed people if you're doing it for lunch. Mexican style street corn queso dip. I was not doing a shop with me today, Josh. I really wasn't, and here we are. Mediterranean pasta salad. You could just not cook. <laughs> just buy stuff here. We're gonna try the chicken tacos, y'all. Need to get some Alani. No, I did not see these last time. They're pretzel crisps, but they're like pumpkin spice and white cream. Try. <laughs> Did you have a good day? He's like, I don't know. I don't know what just happened. He looks extremely confused. Mommy got her baby back. And him had a good day. He's he's not going to stay in my lap right now. I guarantee you he's going to get down. His teacher, I, I've told you guys that his teacher is one of the speech therapists that he was working with this past like year. That was very comforting. I texted her as soon as we got back out to the car. I Actually, I filmed that, didn't I? And she pretty much immediately sent me a picture. She ended up sending me like three pictures and then a video of him at lunchtime. And they were all so cute and he looked so content. I think it's just because he already knows his teacher. She just texted me a few minutes ago and said, you know, I wanted to let you know he did really good. Today we worked on staying in the classroom because if you guys don't know, I almost said Liam. Miles is a runner. Like even
even at church, he, if the door to the nursery comes open, there's a little classroom, he gets out. He doesn't make it out the front door because they have someone at the front door. And every probably like third Sunday, the guy that stands at the door is like, yeah, Miles got out, but he didn't make it out the front door. <laughs> like so. But I'm happy that he had a good first day. I, Josh started to, honestly, I was tearing up when we pulled up to drop him off. And then when we were walking away, Josh was the first one to tear up. And then he made me start crying. And I was just like, oh my gosh. By the way, as soon as I got home, I straightened my hair because we were standing out in a line waiting. And it's just, it rained overnight and it's humid outside randomly, which is weird because it has felt good outside. But yeah, I've been looking, I've been honestly looking rough all day long. I feel like I don't know why my hair does that. I can be outside when it's humid for like five minutes and my hair is terrible. We did grab a few things at Sam's Club. I'll show you guys. It wasn't much and this is my Alani that I'm drinking right now, but we needed baby wipes, paper towels, bottled water, some more Alani. Josh grabbed these. I don't know. They have to be new. I've never seen them before, but he just wanted to try these and see if they're good so he can like have them before work. Spicy sausage, potatoes, cheese, tangy chilies. I don't know. I got this in my last Sam's Club haul, you guys, and these are so good. So I got them again. Got my sushi because I just can't go to Sam's Club without grabbing it. Probably have this for lunch tomorrow or something. And then I guess me and Josh are going to have this for dinner. Liam might eat it. Liam or Bryce might eat it, but I know Miles won't. But I see everyone getting this and we've, we've never had this before. But that's everything we got at Sam's Club. Not very much. We just went ahead and ran to Sam's Club because we were going to eat and it was right down the road. I don't know if I ended up saying, but we went to IHOP to eat and we honestly just sat there looking at pictures of the kids, old pictures of the kids and stuff. Both of us teared up again in IHOP. So I was like, I'm just like, I just didn't film while we were in there. But I'm gonna make Miles some lunch really quick. I think we have like, I think we have chicken fries. He'll probably like that. We have a little bit of chicken fries left. I also have a new kitchen appliance that I'm so excited about. So this is the Mighty Flexify and it is a air fryer oven. It has these beautiful French doors, which is probably one of my favorite parts. I've really wanted one of these for a long time because as you can see, it has a lot more functions than my regular air fryer. And I don't know if you can tell, there's a crock pot for comparison. It's a lot bigger which is very convenient because that means I can make breakfast and lunch items, quick items like I usually do in a regular air fryer, but I can also make dinner in this. I mean, this sucker is spacious. So of course it has the regular air fry function, but it also has toast, bake, broil, roast, pizza, reheat, warm, and then it even has slow cook and dehydrate. It comes with a baking sheet. So if you're using the bake function, if you're making like a little pizza or something like that, and it also comes with this basket, which I use whenever I'm air frying something. And it definitely makes a difference when you are air frying something with how crispy it comes out. So I love this. I'm gonna make him some chicken fries, but I'm also gonna make some of these mac and cheese bites y'all. So you guys can see how the food comes out when you air fry it. It's so convenient too, because I have two things on here, chicken fries, mac and cheese bites, and there's still extra space. I could make so much more at a time. We're just going to pop it in here. And we're going to use the air fry function. And then you can edit the temperature and the time if you need to. I love that it has this little knob. We're gonna do eight. And she has a little light so you can watch your food. You can turn it off, but I just think that's cool. And it's not very loud either, which is very nice. Okay, so lunch is going. I'm sure he's ready for lunch. I'm sure he's pretty hungry. But yeah, I have found that I hardly ever use my oven anymore. Anything that I can make in this, which is a long list of things, I do just because it's so much more convenient. It's very simple to keep clean. All the pieces and stuff that come in it are very easy to wash. And it's just been really nice to have. I don't know if you guys noticed, I made the boys breakfast in it this morning, like their little sausage and pancakes on a stick. I just throw them in there really quickly. Made one of those little square party pizzas in it the other night for the boys. But whenever I cooked it and it came out, Josh was like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. And so he ate a piece of it and he said it was so much better cooked in there versus the oven. So yeah, we're getting rid of our old air fryer, but we're gonna do a little taste test of these mac and cheese bites whenever they get done. So it beeps three times to let you know that it's done. Do you hear that? Nice. And then you see the crumbs down here? This is a crumb tray. So it's not like I just have all these crumbs in the bottom of it and have to like actually clean out the actual oven. I can just take this over to the sink and wash it. 
Okay, so it's all done. This is everything except for what I went ahead and gave to Miles. I don't know if you can see the crispiness through the camera. Listen, we're getting up close and personal. These are so good. They're really good dipped in ranch. So if you guys are looking or thinking about something like this, or even if you were just looking for an air fryer, I highly recommend the Mightya Flexify. You might as well get one that has all of these extra functions and you can get more use out of. I'm gonna have a link down below for you guys. I literally, if you're wondering where Joshua went, cause he is off today, he has a dentist appointment in, this afternoon and I forced him to go get tested for strep because you guys have just like missed so much. Liam had one day of school. He went to school for one day and then the next day he spiked a fever super early in the morning. Turns out he had strep. He missed Thursday, Friday, then he had the weekend and he missed Monday. He went back Tuesday finally, but it was like hurting his stomach. He was throwing up. He was, I've never seen strep throat affect someone like this and I was so confused, but he's feeling much better now. I am on my third round of antibiotics for strep throat. I don't understand you guys are going to, have to let me know if you've ever dealt with this because i'm honestly worried at first they prescribed me straight penicillin and then i finished it and i was off of off of it for multiple days and then i tested positive for strep again and so then they gave me straight amoxicillin took it finished it started feeling better was off of it for several days and then i woke up with my throat feeling scratchy and i looked at my throat and it looked questionable so they tested me again positive and she was like man, like she was hesitant to give me any more antibiotics because she said, well, you can end up with C. diff. I didn't know what that was. If you also don't know what that is, just go ahead and look it up. So she sat there for a minute contemplating, like she, she literally sat there silently for a minute thinking, trying to decide if she wanted to prescribe me more antibiotics. So that of course made me scared to take the antibiotics, but she felt of my lymph nodes and she said that they were so, so, so swollen. And she was like, is that normal for you? I'm like, no, not that I know of. And so she prescribed me Aug augmentin it's like amoxicillin and then something else with it so that's what i'm taking right now and it's been tearing up my stomach i'm literally afraid i'm gonna get this c diff thing let me know if you've had that let me know also let's be positive let me know if you've taken antibiotics back to back and then nothing happened like you were fine because this has been within like a month month and a half tops three antibiotics so anyways long story short i had him go get tested but he's negative we have kissed, we have shared drinks and everything all throughout this this month of nonsense I've been dealing with. So he must just have an amazing immune system. I don't know. And I've gotten Bryce and Miles tested too and they're negative, so that's good. But I was super stressed that Miles was going to get sick before even having his first day of school, so I'm really glad that didn't happen. I have been eating so much Greek yogurt, trying to prevent any problems with my stomach. I also got some probiotics, and then of course I take my super fiber and collagen. If you read the back, it says prebiotic fiber. So prebiotic fiber probiotics. I'm trying to do all that I can to protect my stomach. <laughs> I'm sure most of you guys have been told whenever you take antibiotics, it's good to eat like Greek yogurt and stuff like that. But if you don't know the reason, it's because antibiotics kill all the bacteria, like good and bad bacteria. So you want to take probiotics or eat Greek yogurt to kind of replenish and replace the good bacteria. Because if you don't, then you can get other types of infections. So I'm kind of like going overboard <laughs> because I don't need to be hospitalized, okay? I'm getting married in less than three months. Okay, we don't have time for that. When you come in here, first of all, this has become a catch-all, okay? But these two totes right here are absolutely stuffed, packed full of wedding things, both totes. And then, like I said, now it's a catch-all. I mean, what do we have here? We have our little swatches, some clothes, Bibles, camera bag. I mean, just, you know everything so i don't know what i would do if we were actually decorating i wouldn't have anywhere to put everything hi ham we definitely chose the option where the venue owner decorates for us because i didn't want to add that on top of everything else like the stress of it on myself and i'm really really glad i made that decision because i have been stressed enough without worrying about decorating we do still need to meet with her and kind of talk about what i want and do i know what i want less than three months out nope 
I have absolutely no idea. So I probably need to figure that out. And we did take some engagement, engagement photos, okay, at the venue recently. The photographer that is photographing our wedding, and she's also one of Josh's best friends. She took some engagement photos for us because we just, we never did that for some reason. We've been engaged for a hot minute and never did engagement photos. So I'm really excited to see those. I'll be posting them on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, the plug, go follow me on Instagram. But yeah, I'm just honestly kind of trying to update you guys on so many things because I haven't been vlogging much lately. The very end of summer just got crazy and I got overwhelmed and I said, nope, and we're getting back into it. So I'm trying to just update you guys on everything that I haven't had the chance to talk to you guys about yet. So I showed you guys recently the bouquets and some of the stuff that we got from Hobby Lobby for the wedding. And the last that I had told you, this was gonna be our bridesmaids dresses color. So this is terracotta. Sometimes it doesn't pick up correctly on camera. I was stressing out about the bouquets with them matching it good. So I'm gonna do two bridesmaids dress colors. So here is the terracotta and we decided we're gonna do both terracotta and cedar rose because look, I, f I just felt like this bouquet that we found didn't go, I don't know, I just didn't love it with just the terracotta. And it does look good with just the cedar rose. It's, well, it's super matchy. It might almost be too matchy. But I felt like this would look too much like a springy wedding. So I felt like I needed this darker terracotta color and that that makes it, to me, that makes it perfect. So we're gonna have all kinds of colors going on, but I'm really excited. Also, do not sleep on the already made I need to kind of like do some fluffing and adjusting to this, but the already made Hobby Lobby bouquets for your bridesmaids because these are honestly cute and gorgeous. Yeah, so last minute change. Luckily, none of the bridesmaids had ordered their dresses yet. Look at his little name sticker. I'm trying to keep his teacher's name covered up, but they put it on the back of him. And I just thought that was funny because I saw other little preschoolers come out and their little name tag was right here. And so was Bryce's last year, but Bryce was four, okay. Miles is three if you guys are new here. And we knew before he even came out, Josh was like, I bet Miles' sticker is gonna be on his back. It was, she must've just known he was gonna take it off. Dad. Me and Miles are gonna go on a little coffee run. Do I need Dad. a coffee? Dad. At 2 p.m., no, no. But I want like a hot drink, cozy little, fun little treat, okay? So I'm gonna grab just a small one because I really want it. I have just been enjoying how the weather has been cooling off. Not really so much today, but the weather has been cooling off and feeling like fall is coming. And I can't express the excitement that I have in my body every single time I go outside and it feels like fall is near. So excited. Hi, I had an order for Courtney. Thank you. Yes. You too, thank you. If you order coffee in the afternoon, it's gonna be fast because <laughs> most people are not dumb enough to order coffee in the afternoon. Most people don't wanna be up all night, you know? I will say though that coffee has not given me as much energy as often as it used to. Sometimes it randomly does. Like sometimes it peps me up for the day and then other times I'm like, ooh, I need coffee and I get one and sometimes it makes me feel more tired. I don't know. He's ticked. We're weaning him off of his tablet. He's gonna have his tablet sometimes and sometimes you'll see him with it, okay? He hasn't had it all day today and it is 2.15. He hasn't seen that sucker. And so um, he's probably kind of wanting it right now because we're in the car, but I don't even have it with me. So I thought maybe this won't keep me up. It's little, she's just little. Mm -hmm. I have about an hour or so until the boys get off of the bus and I'm gonna start honestly editing this video, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. We're just getting back in the swing of things, guys. Hopefully, it's all up from here and my kids, I don't have more of my kids getting sick. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.